Welcome back to Fire Husky's Cursed Anime Review. Today we are going to review Pumpkin Guy. Now, Pumpkin Guy, also known as Filler Tea Guy, or the evil side of Broken Tea Guy, is a dog shit character in the hit anime series Small, Medium, Large, or SML. Now, for you who do not know about the anime series SML, the main premise is just a bunch of retarded skits created by the mastermind behind it all, Will Townsend. The anime skyrocketed in popularity in 2017 with the introduction of the international sensation, Jeffy Kun. This caused the anime to be known as The Jeffy Show, or some outright just calling it Jeffy. Now, fans of this anime call themselves Jeffinites, or Jeffies. Now that you know a bit about what SML is, let's dive deeper into the hellscape that is known as the SML Universe. Pumpkin Guy debuts in Jeffy around 2020, however Pumpkin Guy doesn't regularly appear until early 2021. What makes Pumpkin Guy so uniquely shit is his consistent use of filler. The show's main writers EDP445 and Will Townsend are very aware of this. In fact, they made a self-conscious video where Brooklyn Tea Guy is removed, and it was almost one of the best episodes in the entire anime 16 seasons. However, the ending of the episode had returned, which fucking sucked. Filler Tea Guy has nothing helpful to videos. Sure, he's a doctor, he's a cop, he plays every job role, but he does the most shit. He doesn't give a fuck about anyone, he's a man-child, he's a narcissist. He does not have anyone else's well-being in mind. I have no fucking clue who would hire him for even one job, let alone one fucking hundred. It's not even like he's good at his job, like I said, he crashed a plane, he's committed several crimes on duty. But do you want to know what really fucking pisses me off? Why I really hate Filler Tea Guy? is because he replaced Brooklyn Tea Guy with shitty Nintendo animations. Just straight up filler. No one gives a fuck about Brooklyn Tea Guy's high school stories. No one. Literally no one's asking for this. You just want to stretch the video as long as you can so you can get more ad revenue. Logan, you are a fucking money hungry bastard. Holy shit. But it isn't just Pumpkin Guy. It's also Jeffy Cut. Jeffy Cut, albeit fucking murdered SML like Stephen Paddock, forcing them to move channels several times and getting them on the goddamn news for a kid trying to imitate Jeffy by trying to unalive himself, at least was somewhat of a humorous character. Sure, he was destructive, but that's what fucking made him him. Where the fuck did that Jeffy go? Where the fuck did- what happened there? He's not like that anymore. He's just a watered out character they just use for money. It's good in the thumbnail. Ooh, tens of millions. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's, it's like a fucking infinite money glitch. And why the fuck does Logan buy all these fucking Lamborghinis? I don't think he needs them when he could be spending some of that money on the fucking budget for the videos considering how shit quality some of them are. Now, what I really don't understand is why Logan decided to just copy and paste, copy and paste, goddamn mindless, brain dead, soulless characters that walk on a video for millions of subscribers to watch. Honestly, I would be ashamed if I did that. These videos already suck as much as they already do, but holy shit, if I ever stoop that low, fucking kill me. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that SML's still going, and I thought after the SML movie, Jeffy's Skibbity Toilet, that would be it. Like, everyone would just fucking leave, besides for the brain rotted nine year olds. Well, pretty much they make up most of the SML fan base these days. So that fucking sucks. But it's not the end because Logan doesn't want to fucking retire until he's goddamn 40 years old. I am being serious. You should retire. You're 30 years old. Yeah, that's very young to retire. But you stay up 4 a.m. working on videos that aren't even great. Then you eat so much fucking fast food despite having several major medical conditions. Holy shit, dude. You are killing yourself slowly. That is not good for you. I'm not a doctor. I can't prescribe any shit like that. But uh, yeah, I don't think eating fast food while having a lot of medical issues is a good thing for you. Uh, nor does having a kid then cheating on your girlfriend again. Not the first time. Holy shit, dude. You gotta fix your life. I don't know you and you don't know me, but seriously, taking a break might be a pretty good thing for you, honestly. I mean, SML without Logan is perfectly fine. Look at the episode, The Hostage Situation. Had no Logan roles, no Logan voice acting, nothing. It was great. It was something fresh. It was something new. It was something I could almost consider pure Kino. However, it wasn't perfect. And that's why it's not. But things never last. And so the same with Brooklyn Tea Guy. Brooklyn Tea Guy has suffered a slow and brutal death. Death by his very own makers. And though you're dead and gone, believe me, your memory will carry on. Rest in peace, Brooklyn Tea Guy, 1977 to 2021. 
Anyways, that's it for today's anime review. Next time on Fire Husky's Curse Anime Reviews, we review a dark, twisted manga within the SMO fandom. Dab H, dude.